For penile growth augmentation, there are a lot of different bulking agents, so-called fillers. In this mini-series, I am going through the advantages and disadvantages of the individual fillers. If you are thinking of getting penile growth augmentation yourself, you will be informed about the various kinds of fillers before you take that step. This video is about polymethyl methacrylate, also known as PMMA. My name is Stefan Bundrock and I'm a board-certified urologist and sexologist. PMMA is a synthetic substance. On the market, there are different kinds of PMMA, as it has been used with other compounds. A popular formulation is 20% PMMA, 80% bovine collagen. The good thing about PMMA is that it doesn't wear off and you don't have to repeat the procedure every now and then. It increases penile growth by an average 2.4 cm, which is 0.9 inches. One study even reported a mean increase of 3.5 cm, which is 1.4 inches. The effect didn't wear off and was still present 7 years after the injection. It has to be mentioned that the authors of that study injected twice with three to six weeks apart. By the way, did you know that you can become a member of Eurochannel? I just started memberships. Check out the perks and become a member today to support my work. Your membership helps to maintain the high quality of my content. Many hours of preparation go into each of my videos to bring you the most up-to-date scientific knowledge possible. What I think is problematic about PMMA is that there is a substantial lack of studies regarding its use as a bulking agent for penile growth enhancement. It is not exactly known how it interacts with the surrounding tissue once injected into the penis. It seems that changes within the penile skin occur frequently. There are nodules, hard ridges, formation of fibrous capsules, swelling, granuloma formation and hypersensitivity reactions. If anything like that happens and one wants to remove the filler, then it gets problematic. With hyaluronic acid, you can just suck it out with a large needle. I did that a short while ago and will show you a picture in one of my next videos. But with PMMA, this is not easily done one will have to make a circular cut a bit underneath the coronal ridge of the tip of the penis and strip down the penile skin. This is then followed by aggressive surgical removal of the filler, followed by plastic reconstruction. Reconstruction is not a good word. It often means that the cosmetic appearance of the organ will suffer. Out of the few cases that are reported on PMMA injection, there was one patient with severe side effects. After surgery, the wound didn't become dry for as long as 72 hours. Regarding injection techniques, they are similar across all fillers. The material is placed in between the bux fascia and tunica dartos. So it is placed underneath the penile skin but above the cavernous bodies. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Ich weiß, dass meine Videos auch viele Menschen in Deutschland erreichen. Anfangs war Eurochannel zweisprachig, aber nach einer Weile erwies sich das als nachteilig. Daher habe ich deutsche Videos vor ein paar Jahren ausgelagert. Sie befinden sich nun auf meinem Kanal Urologie.